Welcome to the Momsiety Club. I'm your host, Tori Levine, a former mental health worker with degrees in psychology and criminal justice. So I know the importance of keeping calm in a difficult situation. But when I had my kids, I found myself full of anxiety, constantly questioning if I was doing things right or how I was messing up my kids now. One day, everything clicked and I made a commitment to own my anxiety so it doesn't own me. And that's why I started the Momsiety Club podcast. Each week, we'll discuss all things motherhood. So join me and let's get rid of this momsiety together. Today is our first episode. So hello, let me tell you a little bit about myself and then we will get into where the podcast came from. I'm Tori. I am a mom. I have two boys a 17 month old and a six year old, plus our little poochie pants, Macy. So, a little bit of background on me uh, is I grew up as a dancer, ballet dancer, uh, modern jazz tap, and I went away to college for ballet and modern. But by the time I was halfway through my freshman year, I had had a second hip injury that required surgery. So by the time I was 19, I had two hip surgeries. So I decided to kind of take a step back and pursue some of the other academic things I had wanted to work on, which was to become a physical therapist. Uh, Well, I went to a different school then and I focused on psychology in the end. So I have my bachelor's in psychology. I've worked in the the mental health field for some time through being a therapeutic staff support, uh, working with kids, working with adults in with MHMR issues, as well as duly diagnosed adults who have mental health and substance abuse issues. Uh, I worked in a psychiatric hospital with children and families, and I was a children and youth caseworker for some time. Uh, I also, in in the midst of that, I really enjoyed working with the kids who had more behavioral uh, aspects to their mental illness, and I and were dealing a lot with the criminal justice system. So I got my master's in criminal justice and focused on the rehabilitation side of that. So that is my education background. And then after my first son was born, I decided I was going to stay home kind of out of necessity because my husband was working full time. Uh, He had 12 hour shifts And he was in law school part-time in the evening. And where I had been working previously, uh, I would, you know, go in and then just then learn. I think I would be coming home at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and end up home at like 8 p.m. So uh, childcare was going to be questionable. (laughs) So uh, I became a stay-at-home mom. And I really enjoyed it. I loved that time with my son, Um, but at a certain point, I was kind of going a little nuts, so I decided to look into becoming a Pilates instructor and bar instructor, and from there, I loved getting back at the bar and bringing in that dance history that I had, and I started something called Babies at the Bar where I would have a, it was pretty much a support group for moms with the added benefit of exercise. Um, And I loved it. That kind of grew into uh, some different things. Now, fast forward to my second child, and I had some severe postpartum anxiety, which I had anxiety after Ruben, but I, it was very different the second time around and I didn't realize it till much later. Uh, and I reached out to Carrie who actually I met through babies at the bar classes and mommy bar classes. And we started talking about doing a podcast for moms because we felt new moms 
postpartum was underrepresented. We just wanted to help. And we wanted to be able to chat about our anxieties as well as help other moms by letting you know that you're not alone, that you're not the only one feeling these, your mind going 20,000 different places or having anxiety and um, having those down times as well. So we were going to start and we did record a couple episodes of our Anxiety Club where it was just going to be a conversation between mom friends. And lots of COVID happened. We'll say COVID happened and it kind of made Carrie and I reevaluate um, if we had child care, if we did not have child care, and uh, when we would be able to record. So it went from two friends that are moms having a conversation to just me because Carrie, who is my friend, who I support in her decision, decided it was too much for her. And that's um, why I'm doing this show, to show that being a mom is a lot. It can be too much at times, but it's hard, but we can still get through this. And I want to be here as support for you as well as, and Carrie will be here hopefully moving forward um, as a guest or in a supporting role at some point. But I hope that it's seen that continuing on this this podcast is supporting her um, because she had that situation that I think everyone has felt that if I don't. I need to take some time to take care of myself. And if I'm going to be doing this, that's going to take away from my time. So I 100% support her in in her decision. And I also um, respect that different people have different ways of self-care. For me, I love to plan out business ideas and really get a chance to sit down without distractions and use my brain so that I feel human because that is honestly one of the things that really helps me feel more like me Um, because I get too distracted with the kids around and I try to then throw in exercise with the kids or just add a walk-in um, and everybody's self-care is different. That's what this podcast is here for. That's what the Anxiety Club is here for, to show moms that we can get through this. And yeah, it's hard and sometimes it feels impossible, but we can ultimately get through this in the end. And even though you feel isolated and you're the only one whose brain is saying you're not good enough and you're not doing things right, it's, it's you're you're not the only one whose brain is saying that. You are not alone. There are moms in your neighborhood thinking this. They may just not be talking about it. It's everybody right now, honestly, who's going through this, any parent, and especially now with the pandemic that is going on, I feel there are so many more people who are isolated and kind of seeing what new motherhood is actually like, even if they're single, because there's an isolation factor to it, uh, to new motherhood. So while my goal is to help new moms, new parents, anyone who's going through something where they're feeling overwhelmed or anxious or feeling like they are alone, to know that you are not alone. There's a lot going on. I just want to be open about it. And I want to be able to start that conversation so that we can have that conversation together to reduce the stigma. Um, Because anxiety can be embarrassing. There's a stigma, definitely. Nobody wants to be that anxious friend who that's why their friends aren't going out because, you know, because Tori has anxiety. She's boring. Um, You know, she's always worried about something happening or she's a worry wart. And it doesn't even have to be that you can't go out. Well, now the worry wart is um, because of the COVID, because of the virus, like, you know, taking precautions because of that. But 
it doesn't even have to be because of worrying about getting sick. It can be that you're, you're worried because you're leaving the house and you're taking time for yourself. You're abandoning your responsibility or you, um, or when you do something that's not for your child, 100% or for your spouse or your family that you're somehow letting them down, but you're not, you're doing something for yourself, which is okay, which is needed because you need time for yourself in order to be able to give back the go with that saying of you can't pour from an empty cup. And remember, you are not the only one experiencing this. You need to have some peace for yourself in order to be there for your family. All right. So we're going to wrap this up and Each week, there will be a question of the week that we'll discuss on the next episode. And to end this first episode of the Momsiety Club, the question is for you to call in, email in, or post on social media a time that you have felt mommy guilt about doing something for yourself. All the info on how to contact us is in the show notes. I'll share one of mine in the next episode. Since we don't have any uh, calls in for today, I want to leave you with a few words of wisdom that some friends have shared with me as a new mom and very recently. First up are some words from a dear friend of mine, Alicia, who is also a member of the Momsiety Club online. Uh, We were chatting about things going on and my anxieties and kind of her anxieties. And she responded back and said, this year, 2020 is so hard. It isn't a normal situation. We need to readjust and as parents acknowledge things are different. So let's just think about that for a second, especially for new moms, moms who have given birth during this pandemic. New motherhood is isolating in itself and challenging and what we have always told mothers before or we've heard as mothers is that you need to find your your community you know raising a child takes a village but right now we don't have that opportunity so we can come together in a virtual village through the momsiety club and through just having these opportunities to listen and you can call in and share your story so that we can all help each other right now so that we can have our village together, virtually, (laughs) but together. I want to share something else that another friend told me as well. And her name is April. And she said, that around three to four months, she feels like she's coming out of the, quote, dark ages of mommyhood. And I really didn't get that when she had sent that to me initially, because I was like, what are you talking about? There's, I'm great. You know, I have a newborn. I'm not feeling those dark days this time. Um, But then at three and four months, I definitely, there was a bit of a cloud that opened up a bit. And I said, yeah, April, you're right. There is, there are some dark days, even though you might not think it in the time, because what are we doing? We're just doing what we need to, to survive and help and nourish and love our children. So in a way, even though we're in the middle of a lot of stress right now, I want you to know that there is light. (laughs) We can all work together to get to that light, to get out of the dark days. Some days are going to be stormier and cloudier than the others. And some days are going to be super bright. It's important to find and remember those bright moments. And part of the Momsiety Club and the podcast and the membership is just to do that for you, to remind you that You're not the only one right now with milk spilled and laundry piled up, worrying about something that's going to happen or worrying that you're not doing enough for your kid. Because guess what? You are. These are all things that have happened to me, things that I have thought. 
there will be days when you can do the laundry and feed the kids and vacuum all at the same time. And there will be days that you want to do all that and it doesn't happen. So if it's one of those days that feels like everything's going wrong. Take a deep breath, mama. If you're not driving right now, (laughs) um, close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath and exhale any of that anxiety that's happening. And we will work on getting rid of this mom anxiety together. Remember to call in to share your story of a time that you felt mommy guilt. You can leave a voicemail by calling 717-461-2283, email a voicemail to hello at momxietyclub.com, or share with us on social media. You can find the podcast at at momxietyclub, M-O-M-X-I-E-T-Y-C-L-U-B. You might just hear your story featured on a future episode. And while you're at it, let's take one thing off your future to-do list. To get the most out of the Momsiety Club podcast, hit subscribe so each new episode is sent directly to your phone. Would you like to help other new moms just like yourself? A very easy way to do that is to share the Momsiety Club podcast with a friend, or you can go onto your favorite podcast app and rate and review the podcast there. That helps get the Momsiety Club podcast in front of more moms just like you. The Momsiety Club podcast is not intended to take the place of medical advice or therapy.